Chit Chatter Day. So today is Chit Chatter Day. I did place a little Mac order. My mom wanted to purchase some things and I was like, well, if you're going to buy some things, I might as well at least throw a few things in the cart. Isn't that how it works? So I'm really excited about the things that I purchased because a lot of these things have been on my wish list for a while and one of them is new and I am wearing quite a few of these things on my face today so that you can see them. So yeah, let's just start chit chatting. Go get yourself a drink. Go get yourself a snack. Prop your feet up and let's just talk about some Mac, shall we? So if any of you are new here, um, Chit Chatter Day, I just kind of like to sit down and chit chat. I kind of chit chat in most of my videos, but Saturday, Chit Chatter Day, I deem as my actual, this might be a long video, we might just talk about things that have nothing to do with makeup, it's just, it gives me the freedom to just kind of do a chit chat style video and I love that. Um, so I haven't done like a get ready with me in a, in a couple months. No, not a couple months, a couple weeks. Um, I've just been doing a little bit of hauling, a little bit of haul updates and that kind of thing. But we will get back into that soon. But until we get into that, <laughs> we are going to do a haul. So let's start. The first thing that I want to share with you is this lip liner that I picked up. This is the Max Lip Pencil in the shade Edge to Edge. Now, um, I heard a few of my friends talk about this, and I didn't give much thought to it, and then I watched someone use it in a tutorial, and then I was like, nope, I need that lip liner. <laughs> um, I actually don't really have any colors that are like this. This is like a cooler toned, deeper pink with a hint of mauve to it, and because of that, it's one of those lip liners you just need to own. Anything for me, because I like to wear cooler toned pinks. I do like to wear hot pinks too and fuchsias, but I like them to be a little bit cooler. The warmer they get, the less flattering they look on me. So to pair with all those types of pinks that I already own, I thought this would be a great lip liner to have in my collection and I'm already in love with it. It is a very pretty lip liner. This is one of those lip liners that you could just wear fill in your entire lips and be done with it. Um, it's just such a pretty pink. I feel like it's a very flattering pink. So, and you know, I've said this before, Max Lip Pencils are not my favorite formula, but they have such great colors. <laughs> so, it's like, I wish they weren't pencil. I wish they were a little softer and creamier and glided on a little better than they do. But, like I just said, they have lots of fun colors that just work. So that's the thing about MAC. They have so many color choices, whether you're talking about eyeshadows or lipsticks or lip pencils or blushes. There's just a, lots of things to choose from, so you're bound to find, find something that you're going to love. So anyways, first thing, edge to edge lip liner. I think, I think you all would enjoy this, so you might need to add this to your eventual wish list. The next thing that I picked up, these, um, I'm not sure if they are still limited edition or not not really familiar with and I just was laying in bed one evening and I just you know browsing blogs and stuff and I came across a blog that had swatched all of the MAC Dazzle shadows and after looking at a few swatches and I was just like you know a lot of those colors are similar to some of the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows but this particular one I thought I needed <laughs> and a couple of the other ones I had wanted were sold out on the website and I they might still be sold out when you're watching this I'm not quite sure I don't think I'm gonna buy any more but this particular one was kind of unique so I thought I need to own this one and it's called slow fast slow and I am wearing this on my eyelids today and it is a very glittery I used max fix plus to apply it I sprayed my uh, 242 brush which is a smaller denser synthetic brush and then I just kind of dabbed it into the shadow and put it on my eyelid but it's definitely glittery if you do not like glitter this is not going to be a shadow for you however even as just like a topper in a way it reminds me kind of of um, Chanel's new moon um, just because it has that duochrome from like it's kind of like a pinky to purpley brown green yellow gold <laughs> it's just kind of cool I thought it was kind of a cool one and I thought it would it would pair well with lots of different eyeshadows because when you kind of move it around in the pan there it just kind of picks up different colors so I thought well 
that's kind of a chameleon shadow and I like those kinds of things because then whether you're doing like a purple look or a brown look or even like a yellow or a green look you know I feel like it might be able to go with lots of things so um yeah I picked one of these up like I just said I don't know if they're still available for you or not but um I think I think so I mean I don't know but I just wanted to share it with you anyways because I thought it was neat as always, I'm always open to recommendations from you guys, anything that you think I should own from MAC, that, like, anytime I do a haul, if you don't see something, um, I may already own it, but don't feel like you can't recommend something to me, because I'm always open to recommendations, and so if there's anything from MAC that I you think I need to own, please let me know down below, because I, I just need to know. I picked up two pressed pigments that have been on my wish list since probably the second or third time I ever walked into a MAC store. And so the first one I got is called Moth. I have had my eye on this forever. I love lavender shadow. I love purple eyeshadow. I love those cooler toned type of frosty, just icy looking shadows. So this is Moth and Moth is stunning. I am so 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 happy I picked this one out this is one of those colors that is gonna pair well with lots of things too because it can kind of pull lavender it can kind of pull silver it can kind of pull it's just very cool and frosty and icy and I just I love it can you even see the lavender it looks kind of silver but it actually it's very very cool toned icy lavender color and these types of colors with blue eyes are just stunning so the other one I picked up I thought I could wear in conjunction with this one or I could just wear with a lot of other things because once again it's just kind of like when I try to buy like shimmery type colors like lid type shades I try to buy things that can go with lots of different eyeshadows lots of different looks and not like like champagne types of colors and browns and, and purples and like I like to pair these types of shimmery shades with similar types of eyeshadow colors that I like to wear. Gosh, sometimes it takes me forever to explain my thoughts. Um, but anyways, I picked up Blonde Streak. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So I looked at swatches forever, and I was debating between this one and another, like, champagne-y type color. And I went with this one, because the other one pulled a bit more pink. And since I already had bought the Dazzle Shadow that has essentially some pink in it, I was like, well, I guess I don't need both. But oh my, this Blonde Streak is stunning. It's just beautiful it almost is like silver but champagne but just really really pretty and so I thought those two would be pretty together or just the blonde streak on its own I'm just really happy and I like the pressed pigments because the loose pigments are messy and there's more fallout these are pressed so I like I already told you use the 242 brush which looks like this. If you use pigments of any kind, you need this brush. You just have to have it. This is the best brush I've found to apply pigments or press things or glittery things because it picks up a lot of product, especially if you first spray your brush with the Fix Plus. So I decided to throw a couple eyeshadows into my cart because I have all of this empty space just laying around and I thought, well, heck, I might as well fill her up. So <laughs> I bought a couple shadows that I don't have and I love MAC shadows. I truly do. I own a lot of different types of eyeshadows, and I just like them. I do. I find that they blend well. They have a huge assortment of colors and finishes, and I just like them. I find myself reaching for them over and, like, when I don't know what to wear or I'm feeling overwhelmed, I just grab my MAC palette because I know I'm going to love it, and I know I'm going to get a look that just turns out great. So the first color I picked up, I'm wearing this today is called Folly, Folly, Folly. This is a matte reddish brown type of shade, which is some of my favorite types of browns to wear are like reddish ones. Um, I just, it's a, it's a matte shade. I wear a lot of warmer toned looks. I do wear cool toned looks too, but when I wear a warm toned look, if it's just not warm enough for me, I'll grab something like this that has just a hint of red, a hint of warmth to really just kind of warm up the look a little bit, deepen it up without it being like a black or a really dark chocolate brown. So this is a good alternative to those darker 
colors because it's a little bit warmer and it's not as intense and I love I like their matte shadows a lot the next color that I picked up is called brown down and I was deba debating between brown down and ground brown <laughs> I think they're similar I think one's just a little bit more cooler in tone this is creamier than that uh, folly fully when I swatch it here, it feels a lot creamier. It's just a really nice matte chocolate brown. So this is not going to give you the same warmth as the Folly you can see there, but it's still in the warm brown category. It's not a cool toned brown. It's just, it's a great brown actually. It's called Brown Down. I'm so confused with all these brown names, <laughs> but I, I like to have these warm chocolate browns because they just work with so many things and I just gravitate towards them. If you want to skip eyeliner, just take um, a, a dark matte shadow like this and smudge this and, and, and there's your eyeliner. The next shade I picked up is kind of in that purpley mulberry type of family. It's called Star Violet and I love these types of shades. These types of shades are so pretty all over the lid. They, they work great. If you're gonna do like a brown smoky eye, but you just wanna don't wanna do like something light on the lid, but you wanna just do something kind of fun, Star Violet is so pretty. It has like a metallic kind of finish, but no or a sheen. I'm not sure what the finish is on this, but it has no sparkle. It just has pure sheen, and I like those kind of shades because there's not gonna be any fallout on your face or anything like that. So Star Violet, she is beautiful. And I thought since I got Star Violet, I needed Blackberry. And I'm wearing Blackberry um, in my crease today as well. And I thought this would just be a good color to pair well with Star Violet. This is a dark purple matte Blackberry color, obviously. It's a really nice one. It's really pigmented too. A little bit of this goes a long way. I found that out. I always find these things out the hard way. Like you, you dip your brush into it and you go to put it on your eyes and all of a sudden you have eyeshadow everywhere. Next color is a super fun color and I love these bright shades. It's called Vibrant Grape. Oh, look how beautiful this is. It is so fun. It's like a pinky purple. This one doesn't swatch very well. I haven't put it on my eyes yet. It kind of, well, I guess it's okay. It's a little patchy, but um, I haven't put it on my eyes yet, but the actual color is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love these types of fun colors like high up in your crease. So like just like a peekaboo color, like a little bit of pink, a little bit of purple, just a little bit of fun. Like, I, I probably wouldn't wear like a super bright neon eye, but if I wanted just a little bit of fun, a little bit of color, that would be the type of color I would throw in my crease and kind of blend it all out. In fact, um, I have done that before. I think I have a tutorial on it. My um, April Fool's Day joke tutorial, I used a shadow similar in shade from Makeup Geek and created a look, and I put that in my crease, and then I kind of smoked it on, on my lower lash line. So pretty, so pretty. So don't be afraid of these brighter colors thinking, oh, I'm just gonna, you don't have to just put it all over your lid. Stuff like that, when you just kind of buff it out softly into your crease, it's so pretty and it's a great way to incorporate color without, you know, committing to like a full on, super bright, colorful eye look. So this next color, I was intrigued by. On the website and on swatches, it looked really, really pretty. It's called Plumage and this is a, a matte shade and it's like a deep tealy green color oh I love these kinds of colors this is another one of those colors if you want to do a more of a colorful smoke smoky eye colorful doesn't have to mean bright bold brilliant circus colors colorful can just mean like a smoky look but with color and so I thought this would be a great way to do that because I don't always want to do a colorful look but I want to incorporate more colored eye looks mmm this is a beautiful Beautiful shade. It's so pretty, just a deep teal color. Gosh, I think you might want to try this color. That with say like this on your lid. Oh, yeah. And the last shadow that I picked up, I have swatched several times in the store, and I don't know why I just haven't bit the bullet and bought it because I love it. It is beautiful. It is called Idle Eyes, and it's like a lav. I see lavender with silver and blue and that this is a different finish because swatching it it feels a little more chunky um i don't know what the finish is off the top of my head but it's like a blue but then there's almost like this oh my gosh it's so unique it has almost like a yellow 
is that the word yellow or a gold it's just really really pretty I thought one of those other great lid shades I just like these icy lavender blue type colors they are just very complimentary if you have blue eyes so that is the end of my Mac haul. That is all the things that I bought. Let me know down below um, any recommendations you have for me and any requests for videos or requests for um, like get ready with me's or any particular products you want me to use. I'm here to please you guys too. So um, I do have like my August schedule kind of set but I can be flexible. Um, so if there are anything that you would like to see in a video, please let me know. I am here to please you guys as well. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday, Sunday, Monday, whatever day you're watching this. And I look forward to chit-chatting with you soon. Bye guys.